Education news now. There's been a lot of fireworks coming out of the Fairfax School District Board of Trustees of late, and the trustees are set to meet again as they grapple with a scathing grand jury report. And as of yesterday, a certified recall campaign against some board members. 17's Aton Wallace has been following this story for months now. He joins us live at Zephyr Lane Elementary School in the Southeast with more on what transpired tonight. Aton, good evening. Jim, good evening. The meeting got underway about two hours ago. This is the board's eighth meeting in the last month. Now, for some context, the board usually holds one regular meeting, regular meeting per month. Now, tonight, trustees are meeting to review candidates applying for the Fairfax School District superintendent job. The meeting comes just one day after the head of the Kern County Elections Division approved a petition to recall three trustees in the Fairfax School District Board. That allows recall organizers to start collecting signatures. They need to collect 1,551 valid signatures by September 26th of this year. The recall campaign is aimed at ousting Fairfax School Board President Palmer Moland and School Board trustees Jose Luis Tapia and Alma Rios. Moland has faced accusations of bullying and harassment, while Rios and Tapia are accused of always siding with Moland and not adequately preparing for board meetings. This all comes after a scathing grand jury report labeled the board, quote, divided and dysfunctional, and called on the board to remove Moland as board president by June 30th, which has passed. This evening, some in attendance called on him to step down. Mr. Moland, you have showed qualities of arrogance just since you've been on the board. You have had um, chances to change your ways as well as implement your training, but you continually don't. I have typed up a resignation letter just in case it's something that you would like to do out of the limelight. Now, we reached out to Moland, but did not hear back. In the past, he has said he feels he is being unfairly targeted. Reporting live in Southeast Bakersfield, Aton Wallace, 17 News. All right, Eton, thank you.